Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fable Anniversary. Alright, I've been trying to record this episode three times now. Apparently, the fucking Elgato changed its fucking encoder again. I didn't realize it until the second failed recording, and I had to go, wait a second, what if it did this for the change to the other console? Apparently, that's exactly what it did. I'm starting to dislike my Elgato now. I am not happy with it. Okay, that said, figured I'd get that out of the way for, <laughs> for transparency at the very least. Because fuck. I've tried this particular area at least three times so I know most of it backwards and forwards. I can't fucking believe it fucked on me like that. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Get that out of the way. When we left off, I was looking for will potions because I was running out. And I managed to do that off camera. And got quite a bit of them, actually. I think I'm up to 44 now. But... Now we have to progress. So, here we go. Orkan's Club. Uh, often mistaken for a hob and sometimes a baby troll, Orkan was a diminutive warrior. Diminutive? Dead, close enough. Who shunned society and lived in the mountains. Enemies would sometimes laugh as they saw his small form charging towards them with a, this club in his hand. It was usually the last thing they ever did. For good reason, I assume. Because... I would probably be angry at people, too, if they were laughing at my short stature. And I'm pretty much the same height as Markiplier, so we're both 4'2". <laughs> we're short. Okay. Anyway, uh, gonna move on now. I'm kidding. I mean, I am, I'm not kidding that I'm the same height as Markiplier, but I'm using the same joke he does. Let's move on and... Grab this, because this is a very valuable item I'll want. And I've learned the slow reel helps out, because this little shit wants to not get caught. Even though it's very good for me. Come on. Come on. There we go. Perfect. That was actually the best try yet. <laughs> uh, my first try, I did it like four times. Well, my first try it recording i did it four times the second time was the first time but it took like about 10 seconds this one took about five that's not bad okay the elixir of life beautiful and i can drink it from this menu and there we go substantial amount <laughs> and uh, i remember in some of the preview builds or at least the ones that showed up in the magazines that the health bar could actually show a lot more like not show, more of uh, extend a lot further across the top of the screen. But like I said, maybe that was part of the preview builds. I don't know. Yeah. All right, and here's story progression. Hey, there this you lady. Are. So how was the cruise? It was a thing. I need to shave Me? because of it. I'm more of a teleporter girl. Of course you are. Good thing your seal set the local ones off. Good. Managed to get a good look around, and these stones might be worth investigating. Really? See all those inscriptions? I'm heading back. Not to the really, not from this angle. You should carry on to Snowspire and speak with Scythe. He's waiting for mm -hmm. you. Oh Catch great! You later. Oh, you're not gonna follow? Okay. Fair enough. Yep, I'm. I'm seeing some of these inscriptions. It looks like a couple swords. Um. Some gargoyle-ish sort of things. And a claw hand holding that little ring thing. Similar thing over here. But this one's more of uh, naked women. Okay, that's a thing. <laughs> and this one's time. That one's 11, 3, 12, and 6. That. Huh. All right. That's a thing, I guess. And this is a thing all the way over here. Uh, first, I should probably grab this chest. And there we go. 
What do we have? Demon Warrior. Demon Warrior. That's close enough in pronunciation. Okay. 200 years ago, a war broke out between the temples of Avo and Scorm. The Daemon Warriors flew the banner of their evil deity and terrorized all that came in their way with their infernal, beastly visage. And honestly, the scariness and attractiveness stats are not that different from the Holy Warrior. The only real difference is the alignment modifier. That's it. And it's a piddly small amount compared to some of the uh, earlier armors, so it's a little weird that they hype it up this much. At least to me, it's weird. Anywho, and complete lighting change. So much so that the shadows move. And a little explanation here. The Bronze Gate. Though the gate has remained closed throughout the modern age, and the skull locked away a great evil behind it. According to some Snowspire myths, the opening of the gate will bring about the end of the world. Locals say it is no accident that its metal feels hot to the touch. At its I Especially because of the lighting change, which is going back as soon as I move away. Hey, hey. look at that. Alright, time to move. And there's another valuable item next to this section of the water. Uh, first things first, I'm going to get turn this way. There we go. And... Is there... Nope, there's not a thing there. Okay, so... I was about to say, did I miss something in the three times I've tried to record this episode? No, of course not. Why would I? Okay. This one was just as hard as the last one. So, time to be on guard for shenanigans. Okay. Almost. Oh, okay. Working good so far. Oh, nice try. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Got it. <laughs> Got it, bitch. Okay. And the Willmaster's Elixir. Hey, hey. Now we have even longer bars. Aha! <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, time to move this way. Time to go to whatever this is. Oh. Alright, I guess they're welcoming me. Snowspire Village. Wasn't that... Wasn't that the guys who told me to fuck off earlier? Wasn't that a thing? The Northern Waste Foothills? Wasn't that a thing? I want to say that was a thing. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. Okay. Got a checkpoint. And what do we got? Got a lot of villagers. More than I expected. And that's... The... Uh, what was Welcome your name again? To Snow Spire, hero. I, just, I remember your face because it's kind of hard speak to miss that face. Your journey. Okay, I'll speak of my journey if you really want to hear it. Have reached Hook Coast. Yep, I was fighting there a lot of them. Less time than I thought. Oh. And I have much oh, to no. tell you. I well, let's start. Many years ago, okay. When the guild believed Jack of Blades would use the Snow Spire Oracle in his search for the sword. Fair enough. Now, he ended up not doing it. Me. You are in need of its wisdom. Okay. To speak with it, we will need the glyphs of inquiry. They were hidden in the age of Archon by four acolytes who buried them deep in the haunted necropolis. All right, I, I guess I need to go there. To the necropolis guards to grant you passage. Fair enough. Also, what the hell's with your face? Can the I ask you that? The Snowspire villagers refuse to leave the city walls while summoners roam free. That's a fair we thing. Fear the Bronze Gate close to Archon Shrine will open and bring about the apocalypse. That's a fair enough reason, I guess. But, I mean, I passed by and it didn't open, so one would assume if it didn't open for me, it won't open for them, but uh, maybe, maybe I'm just assuming too much, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, maybe I is. Okay, let's see if we can find a fucking barber around here, because I need to get rid of this beard. At least for me, I need to get rid of this beard. Um, blacksmith. Okay, uh, there we go. Blacksmith, apparently. Taylor. 
Okay, I guess everyone's decided they want to go to bed. Great. That, that bodes well for me. Not. Ah, I wanted to fucking see a barber. Someone, at the very least, who could give me more will potions. Just because I want more. Yay! Needy little shit. Alright, well, there's a home over here. Maybe I can buy that. Maybe that'd be a good idea. Maybe. We'll find out, won't we? Uh, how much does this cost? Oh! 25000 That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, that's not rented out for now. Um, renovations cost a lot. Holy shit, dick. Okay. I have enough, but I don't really want to spend that much. Okay. Let's use the bed to sleep for now. Beautiful. Really? It didn't actually wake me up for morning? Come on. There we go. That's what I wanted. Alright, let's up the uh, decoration a bit. I cannot do it next time. That's fine. But, I will now rent out this marital home. There we go. Get a lot of rent out of that. Well, hello. You want to trade? That'd be nice. Oh, you have some decent things here. Most of these are scary. What the? Snowspire Slinger. A face tattoo inspired by the traditional war paintings Snowspire soldiers applied before going into battle. They were said to invoke the power of the ice gods that lived among the mountains and to imbue each warrior with the strength to bring down any invading enemies. That's fair enough. Ooh, Snowspire Commander is even more awesome. <laughs> more attractiveness added anyway. Uh, swordsman, spearman, axeman, archer, crossbowman, general. It's weird that the uh, commander does not have this. <laughs> the commander has more when compared to the general. Blacksmith. Uh, guard. Innkeeper. Okay. And that's about it. Deathlicon. That's probably not a good thing. Alright, let's add... Uh, I don't want to add the face tattoo. That'd be... That'd be a thing. That'd be weird. Alright, let's see if there's anyone else I'm willing to talk to over here. What do you got? Can do a special offer for you, sir. Well, that would be nice for me. Uh, not seeing anything too good. Um, got decent rates on these. The cider sack is actually pretty good, but I'm not a trader. I don't trade anymore. I, I've learned from that. That does not work for me. <laughs> I do not do well. Oh, I sold a couple of the health potions because I figured if I'm going to go all in on will potions... I might as well go all in for real. So I sold some of them and bought some will potions. Uh, these aren't necessarily all that good in the cost rate. And he doesn't have that much to begin with. That's great. I can't believe it. After centuries, yeah. the northern wastes are open again. Hooray! Yeah, you're kind of in them. So how about that? All right, let's uh, move on to another house. I'm trying or another building that's marked in color. Maybe one of these is just a damn tailor. Or damn charity worker. Charity worker, huh? There's Giving to charity doesn't just help the needy, crippled, blind orphans. That's rather specific when it comes to orphans. It also benefits your morality and your shopping experience. The higher the value of the items you donate, the higher the chance of bargain items appearing for sale. Do you like to trade? I'm pleased hmm. to serve you. Let's see. Uh, what's going on here? Only have the villager shirt and bright villager trousers. Iron cleaver and steel mace. Huh. There's nothing else really going on here. And I would assume that these would not be good rates, and they're not. Yeesh. Okay. Um, you have to donate more for them to give you better items, huh? Huh. That's, that's a concept. I could do that sometime. Maybe. 
Okay. But if you'd let me walk, I could visit more things. There we go. Got a, the blacksmith over here. Let's see what he has. He's a kind of curious. For you, sir. Well, here's hoping. Uh, he has anything? No, he just has all the masterworks. It's not bad, just not great for me. Wow, he has everything I ever wanted when it comes to augmentations. Holy shit, I cannot buy these worth a damn. <laughs> they are a little out of my reach. But, these other ones I can. If I needed to, I don't. But, I at least have them within throwing distance. Oh! I can sell these here. Oh! That's good to know. Oh, that, that didn't have a profit at all. That's kind of shit. <laughs> That's kind of bad. Okay. Uh, I don't want to get rid of Avo's Tear, but I do kind of want to get rid of the Harbinger. Because I already have a better weapon in Sophia's Sword. I'll sell it. I'll sell it. There we go. There we go. Okay. No. You now I have get a lot me more gold. That necropolis. Too scary. That's Fair enough. Can. Fair enough. But it is nice that I could sell the special weapons here at least. I didn't know that I could do that. I was Lord about to say I'm not going to look for any more if I if I can't sell them immediately off the bat. But now I know where I can sell them immediately off the bat. That helps. Hooray! Works for me. All right. Got to find a damn tailor or damn fucking tell you, Master, barber. So lucky. But you, sh you should say you're lucky because oh, yes. I'm here finally. All right. What Do we have something here? Something good for me? Uh, what if... To see you. Can't talk to you. You're Taylor. You're Taylor. Oh, hey, I, I can talk to you. Today. Do you have anything for getting rid of beards? Please? I don't want to have to go all the way back to the mainland to deal with that. Redhead wig. You, oh, dear gods. <laughs> the art of prostitution is littered with an odd cornucopia of props. This one, this is one of the least in celeb... Uh, in... In celebr... <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that word. In celebrous... <laughs> Bri... <laughs> Bri... <laughs> ah, fuck. That's the weirdest word I've never come across. Insalubrious. Ah, I think I got it that time. Hey! <laughs> Takes like seven tries to get the words that I've never seen. Used to please carrot top fanciers. Okay, then. That's a thing. Okay. <laughs> Nothing else worthwhile there. Oh! Oh, I can sell some of this stuff here. That'd be use that'd be useful for me. Okay. Ooh, I can sell the hooded apprentice robes too. Beautiful. Alright, uh bandit gloves, apprentice gloves, bandit trousers, apprentice lower robe, uh bandit boots, guard boots, apprentice boots, and of course sell these because I'm never gonna use these. Why would I? There we go. Beautiful. Alrighty, that all taken care of. I now have a fucking ton of cash. Holy shit. A lot more cash than I expected. I can't complain. But I can complain about the fact that I don't see a barber around here. God damn it. I'm getting itches all over the place. Ah. I'm not seeing a barber. I'm gradually getting more angry. Where's a damn barber? Barber, I want to get rid of this bird. God damn it. Can I apply not beard? Do I have that in my inventory? Applying not beard. My equipment. Maybe. Be nice. Uh, the buzz. Uh, not normal beard. Not sheriff mustache. Um, 
Not the power mustache. Well, I guess that adds uh, adds to attractiveness for some reason and gets rid of scariness, but that's that. Nah, no. Normal beard. Can I... Can I put that on? No, I can't. Fuck. God damn it. Okay. I am angry. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna fucking head back to the mainland because that's the only fucking option I got when it comes to getting out of my beard. Alright, uh. Do we have. Okay. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything there. No barber, it looks like. General shop. Where's the barber? Where's a barber? Where's a barber? It's a tattooist. It's not what I need. I want a barber. Bowerstone. Fuck it. Finally, I have to go all the way back to Bowerstone. Fuck. Should have done it while I was there in the first place. All right, I'm going to end the episode here for right now because, damn it, <laughs> I've ran out of time trying to record. Not as badly as yesterday because that, that fucking update was a long ass time. But still, I have ran out of editing time, more like, or I'm yeah, right on the cusp edit. of having none left. So, I'm going to end the episode here for right now, as quick as I possibly can. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat, playing games and doing the fastest outro I've ever done, while also... Figuring out that there's some shit I need to do for these guys in Snowspire for you.